All right, Charlotte, so we've inflated the balloon with the baking soda and vinegar. Will it float? Let's see. All right, let go. All right, hey guys, welcome back to the lab. If you're new to the channel, this is Mystery Lab, and I'm John. I'm Charlotte. In today's video, we're gonna answer your questions. So we got a lot of questions on one of our most popular videos, which was how to inflate a balloon with baking soda and vinegar. Um, so today, we're going to answer some of those questions, and one of the most common questions was, will the balloon float after you inflate it with baking soda and vinegar? So we're gonna go ahead and do an experiment and show you whether or not that balloon will float. Right. All right guys, safety first. Let's put on our safety equipment. We've got our safety glasses for this experiment. We don't really need any gloves or anything um, because we're just doing some baking soda and vinegar, right? All right, so the first thing we need to do is add some vinegar to our bottles. So we're just gonna use some white vinegar. And Charlotte, if you would hold the funnel. I'll pour in some vinegar into, we're just gonna use one quarter cup of vinegar. Again, so let's just go ahead and get this one ready. There, didn't get you wet that time. All right, you get to do. I'll go get some paper towel and dry. It smells like vinegar. Spilt <laughs> vinegar. So we filled up our bottles with vinegar. And another question that we got was, um, does it have to be white vinegar? And really what your, the, the reaction that we're going for right now is the acetic acid in the vinegar is reacting with the baking soda to create carbon dioxide gas. And that's what inflates the balloon. So really any type of vinegar will work because it contains acetic acid. Um, but most of the time, for this experiment, we recommend just using white distilled vinegar. And we've got this giant bag of baking soda. And what we're gonna do is take about one tablespoon of baking soda and our funnel. And I'm gonna put the balloon on the funnel first. And then Charlotte, if you would scoop out some baking soda out of the bag. Okay. And then you can pour it into here. So move that over here. And I'm going to hold the funnel for you. Okay. And then we just want to tap the funnel to get the baking soda drop down in there. Alright. And now we put the baking soda into the balloon so that the reaction doesn't start until we want it to. So once we put the balloon on the bottle, the baking soda is in the balloon and it's not mixing with the vinegar until we split the balloon up and shake it and knock the baking soda down into the vinegar. So I'm gonna take this balloon and I'm just gonna stretch it out over top of the water bottle here. You got that all pulled over the funnel? Yep. All right, so go ahead and put the baking soda in that one. And just tap it down in there, is it all falling? Good job. Okay, there got it. Go. Take that, and I can take the baking soda for you if you want to. You need help putting that over there? Or you got it. You got it. All right, so we want to make sure that we kind of get it down. See this lip over here? Mm -hmm. We want to try to get the balloon down over that lip. That well, you know what? Why don't we try it like this? Okay. Just make sure you kind of hold the balloon when you stand up. 
That way it doesn't go flying off. All right, so we've got our baking soda in our balloon. We've got the vinegar in the bottle, and we're just gonna take these, kind of pinch it at the top just to make sure it doesn't, and then we're gonna take the balloon and stand it up. Whoa, look at that. It's not as big. We can shake it and it's kind of it's blowing up the balloon a little bit. How's yours doing? Good. Good. It's got like this neck. Like These balloons are a little bit harder to inflate. That's why they didn't blow up as big. All right, Charlotte. So we've been inflated the balloon with the baking soda and vinegar. Will it float? Let's see. All right, let go. Whoa! Just kidding. All right, guys, we actually inflated that balloon with helium. So let me get that balloon and we'll talk about what happened. Okay. All right, guys, so we'll show you really quick um, the video of me blowing up this yellow balloon with helium and Charlotte blew up this red balloon with human your air. breath, <laughs> human air. Um, so we're going to show you what happens between the three. So this is helium. This is just our atmospheric air that Charlotte used to blow up the balloon. Charlotte, if you'll hold both of these by the bottom. And then I'm going to take one of these balloons off of our experiment bottle here. Alright, yeah, you may have been easier. What is this? <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to take this balloon and I'm gonna tie this one off. All right, so now if we let go of all three balloons, what's gonna happen? Yeah. Hold it up here, ready? One, two, three, go! All right, so the balloon filled with carbon dioxide from our experiment is going to sink, but the balloon filled with helium, helium is lighter than air, so helium balloons will rise or they'll float up into the air. And the balloon that's filled with atmospheric air, or Charlotte's breath, will also, is it gonna float or sink? It's going to sink. All right, so hopefully that answered your questions, but stay tuned, because in our next video, we're gonna show you how you can actually fill a balloon with hydrogen gas. We're gonna use a couple of household chemicals to make hydrogen gas in our balloon, and we're gonna make that balloon float, okay? So stay tuned for that next video. We hope you liked this video. If you did, please make sure to do what? Comment down below and like and subscribe. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you smash that like button if you like this video and leave us a comment down below and let us know what would you like us to answer next. Like this video and share it with your friends. Yeah, that would be awesome. We're almost at a thousand subscribers, so we would really appreciate it if you share this video and subscribe to our channel.